Mia Broussard is on her way to rock stardom, but there's just one thing standing in her way. The Sheepdogs. The band and the solo singer are the finalists in Rolling Stone's Do You Want to Be a Rock and Roll Star competition, the grand prize a deal with Atlantic Records and the cover of the prestigious Music Mag. We got the finalists on board our Dunkin' Donuts studio on the run to find out more about their hopes for a big win. I definitely want it pretty bad. It's a, it's a, it's a, it would be a huge honor, you know. Originally from Louisiana, Lelia now lives in New York. I write pop songs that, you know, hopefully people can relate to. It's, it's a bit of an indie pop kind of pop rock thing. I've been singing ever since I was a toddler, like in the grocery store. And now she's hoping to showcase her natural talent to the world. The Sheepdogs from Canada has been around for seven years. The band's become a big hit with fans back home. How would you guys describe your sound? You know, a kind of a throwback to rock and roll from the 60s and 70s. Um, you know, influenced by a lot of like soul from that era. And Coming in and being up against 15 other bands, being the lone Canadian band. But we felt strongly about it and we were, we kind of got the whole country rallying behind us. Both finalists have performed around the U.S., including a recent show at the Dominion New York. So we stopped by the venue to find out who's got what it takes to rock the hardest on stage. The contest is sponsored by Garnier Fruitis, and so I found some in the bathroom and thought that it would be only fitting but to spray it in the crowd. We did bust open a lot of guys' shirts uh, afterwards. Just ripped them open. Well, when guys have these like snap buttons, it's really fun to like just grab their shirt and pop it open. For competitors, the finalists seem to be vibing pretty well. Are you nervous? Uh, we don't really have time to be nervous. We're just, you know, being whisked from one thing to the next. Now their fate is in the hands of the fans. Sharon Carpenter, Pix11 News.